Today on the workbench, I've got a new project here. This is a Atlas uh, Masterline series locomotive. It's a B23-7 and this this is brand new so I just took the screws out of the bottom of it to take it out of the box uh, but it says it's D or it doesn't say it's DCC ready it says it's sound ready so <clears throat> well actually right above it it does say DCC ready so that's a good thing so what we're going to be putting in this after we get it uh, a part is we'll put a decoder buddy in it um, let's see a soundtracks 21 pin decoder I'll put a keep alive in it probably a KA K1 TCS KA1 and then I've also got a scale sound system speaker for this thing so <clears throat> we might as well go ahead and get into it and uh, the first thing we'll do is pull the couplers off that should let us remove the body if I can okay so there's that And that's already already has KD couplers on it. They look like 148s. It's got a little firecracker antenna on the top of it. Don't want to break that off. little whisk KD whisker coupler. I don't know if you can see the whiskers or not, but let's see if that'll release that shell. And it would not. So now I am looking for some screws. And feels like the fuel tank is glued on, or not glued on, but probably double sided tape. Nope, it's not double sided tape, it's uh, had got some clips on it right there you can see so we got that off now looks like there's just two screws here in the center let's hold this on so let's try those hopefully this thing will slide right off yep. it's got some give to it don't feel there it is what do we got now nope. <clears throat> yeah. it didn't sound good but it didn't break anything so evidently what I pulled out these two middle screws were for the weight and we'll put them back in so we didn't need to pull them out. So put that in there. Oh, this has a 21 pin board in it. So this will be a simple install. Because I'm not going to add any other lights to it. And it is LED already so so 
So we'll pull this out. It's already got a speaker in it. So, but we're going to change that out. So, someone has already converted this thing over. that is but I can't do anything with that so that's all right um, I'll be back I got to get my speaker out here all right so I've taken I took the uh, speaker closure apart <clears throat> this is the one that came in this locomotive so I'm not I'm not going to reuse this. I was going to, the plug, but uh, I'm no longer going to do that. So let's go ahead and we'll unplug everything. Because I'm going to, I am going to replace this board. Now I know there'll be people say, well, you could just plug right into that one. Well, yeah, you can. I can't argue that. But I'll put a decoder buddy in it, and then I won't have to worry about where I can put my keep alive uh, wiring. Won't have to to look up any of that information. So, that and a lot of my other stuff has the decoder buddies in it. But anyway, so here's this 21 pin board. And this is not a decoder, this is just a dummy plug. So, we'll set that aside. I'll be able to cut this off, so I've got my Decoder Buddy version 5. Um, let's see how well this fits. It fits right like it should. to cut that clip off it won't fit in there like it should to where this will hold down so yeah so I'll just put some double-sided tape on it which that's no biggie so it'll fit under those front two clips, it'll set right down in those. That'll be a good snug fit. Yeah. 
And so before I, I put this down, I want to put a uh, one of the TVS modules on this. And trying to decide. I think I can put it right on the back. It's a transient transient voltage suppressor. So let me dig one out. And we can get that on. And I've put these on a couple of others. Saw this in Model Railroad Hobbyist Magazine. I think it was the April 22 issue. So he was here recently. But I've got enough room that I can mount that right to that PCB. So, on the back side. And that goes on the uh, goes right on the motor mount or the motor contacts pads whatever you want to call them. So let me tin that up. over side and I'll fight this thing around here get the other side and then I'll check it and you won't be able to see me check it here I've got my magnifier out. Okay. So that worked. So we've got that on there. Now I just need some double sided tape. this thing. Alright, that still fits good. Okay. So I can clean that off with some alcohol. And clean the decoder buddy off. nice clean place to put the double sided tape and get everything out of the way before I spill the alcohol got a 
piece of double-sided tape. I'll have to cut two pieces and stack it. I think that'll give me enough. <laughs> Just barely. So we'll put a third layer. So now we've got our decoder buddy installed, the TVS. Um, now I'll start, and let's see. Might as well go ahead. And mount the speaker. Of course I say that. have to put my wires on it. Probably ought to run my light back through there first. Get that out of the way. Go ahead and we'll cut these off. Start hooking up our wiring. First thing we have is our track pickups. Since these are already soldered, I'm 
we'll try something. There's the track pickups. That light I'm going to have to extend because it'll come up, come up here. So let's move on to the front. Let me pull this light board off. And we'll be able to put our motor wires in. Might as well do that while we're moving forward. Same thing up here. Flux. So I've got a 50 50 shot at which way the wires go here. Now that TVS I could have taken and just run a wire to it and hung it out. You know, because I've, I've done a couple other videos <clears throat> and showed how I put them in kind of a remote location. <clears throat> Instead of mounting it directly to the board. So these are our front track pickups. Flux in there. one so 
So let's see. Do, do, do. I need to take care of the speaker and the rear light to extend them. Well, um, this is my front light, so I'll have enough for that. But I need to put my keep alive on. So we'll take care of this speaker first and we'll extend the wires for the uh, light while we're at it. There's, I'll need that again. <coughs> Go ahead and tin. Pinning the speaker wire. And this is just going to be a single speaker. that. Now, we'll get that out of the way. We'll go back here to our light. And I'm going to turn my tweezers on because I'm not sure. I'm going to say the gray is positive for this. I don't know that for sure. We'll find out here real quick. Yep. Gray is positive. So now, need another piece of black wire. that put away, get some red, Just got a little puddle of flux over here to dip this in.
right. So, and I'll get a piece of uh, heat shrink and put on this momentarily. that now we'll get some heat shrink plenty of room for that. Let's pull this back over. And I'm going to put a piece of... Actually, this has to go up top here. Just like that, that's how it was to begin with. I think I can go ahead and mount this down. I thought maybe get my big hand out of your view there. So there's one screw in it. this one in. There you can look at the front there. As long as it there's okay good it's not touching. That's what I was worried about.
some reason. We'll pull these back out. And I'm going to run a tap down through that hole, a 256 tap. Because it wouldn't let me run down as far as it should have. Put that away. That way. I don't think that that'll hit. There, it caught. Okay, now we're good. Well, <clears throat> we were good until I had the wire caught underneath of it. Dummy me, I don't know why I didn't run it up through that hole. All right. <clears throat> okay. I rerouted the wire. I had to bring it up through the front because there's a, a notch up, or the back, I mean. So there's a notch right down in here, and I can lay this wire right back over, and it'll still reach my speakers. So that'll work out nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. So, 
So the speaker mounts or, or pads are right here. So there's the speaker hooked in, all nice and neat. Now we can finagle our light in there. And I'll put a piece of Kapton tape or something there. Hold that down. So let me get my alcohol back out. Clean that off. on tape I try not to touch that with my fingers too much Okay, so there's the, of course, Southern ran these long hood forward, so there's our front light. And now, well, we're almost to the point where we can put our decoder on, but I want to hook up the uh, Keep Alive. So I've got my TCS KA1. Well, I don't have it out of the package. But I've got it out. So let's get it open. So I'm still, I really want to use it. I'm just thinking we might be short on some space. So, so there's the KA1. Um, I'm going to measure this dist. Well, actually, what I want to measure is the inside. of the uh, shell, the depth, one inch, one eleven. So,
I'm going to have to cut the pins on the decoder buddy down. So yeah. Um So right now I don't have any place for the keep alive. I was hoping I'd get lucky and it'd fit right between the rear truck and that deck. No joy. Um, I don't think I could put a KA-4 in there. Well, right there. I could probably put a KA-4 right here. That won't fit. And I don't think that I have an extra KA-4. I'll have to... I'll have to look. Because that's really the step I'm on. Is I need to put the keep alive in before I put my light board on. Yeah, I mean I could put the light board in. It's no big deal, but I'd rather put that in and that way it'll be done. So I'm going to look for a KA4. I'll be back. I will be back. Well, I do not have a KA-1 or a KA-4. I thought I had, and I guess I need to restock them. I could make my own capacitor or uh, keep alive, but I don't even have any of the capacitors. So, saying that, that is one of the advantages of the decoder buddy. I can put my light board in. So we'll go ahead and put that in. And then I can order what I need. Of course, maybe I'll have enough room there. I won't have to pull the light board back off of it. You yeah, have the second and third pad there will work, and I can reach that. But anyway, so we can still hook up this right here for our wiring. So we'll so this is going to be my rear light. I'm going to cut that off as close as I can. Because they did run these long hood forward. So our gray is positive. that there and then
should have had my soldering iron on. Then go ahead and get our other wires ready. for the front light while that's heating up. There's that one. And there's that one. Those were our positive sides. And now, for the function side or the negative, and this board has resistors built in, so you don't have to worry about that. Turn that around. Putting that up in the corner there. So there's that one. This one is in this front corner. So now, once I get my the keep alive that I want, be able to pull that light board right off if I need to and add it. So now we'll get our decoder out and uh, there's the number for the decoder.
So we're ready to try it out here. I will be, be back. All right, so I tested it. Um, the lights work fine. It runs fine. It sounds good. But I've got the motor leads on the wrong terminals here. So we'll go ahead and switch them out. And that'll get us running in the right direction. So that'll take care of that little problem. Now I am going to put this shell back on. I still think I'm going to have to cut the pins off. So uh, let's see. What do you know? I don't need to cut the pins off. <laughs> so that went back together nicely. Now I just need to keep alive. Yeah, there is no way that I can get that KA1 in there. Really wish I could. Then I'd have this done, but I'll go ahead and order what I need. Uh, I'm going to try this out and then I'll put the couplers on and everything. Alright, we're back here. I got the uh, Keep Alive in the mail. And I think I said we were going to put a KA4 in there, but it's a little big. So we're going to go with a, a TCS KA2. And this will fit quite nicely right there. So, saying that, I'll put a little, I'll clean this off, a little bit of alcohol, and I'll put some double-sided tape on that right there. Let's see. Let that dry for a second. Close my alcohol back up. And then... Cut off a piece of tape. Double-sided tape on. Yep. All right. There's that. Finagle that thing back in there. Here we go. So there's the keep alive. And dumb me. I should have put the leads over on that side, but that's all right. So now, the terminals we're going to use here are the, uh, the second and the third one. So our number two there 
is the uh, positive and then the third one is the ground so blue is positive black and white tracer is the ground so let's cut us off a little bit of wire here and we'll cut that black one off there's that and I like to have uh, a good supply of those keep alive around different sizes anyway because you never know what you're going to run into on some of these things but this will finish this job up get some flux on there clean that tip off and then we can tin these two So I won't have to take my lighting board off. So there's my black one. that been around here. And there's my ground hooked up, or my positive hooked up. So, put that back in there. There is our completed installation. Nice and nice and clean go ahead and put our shell back on and I know it fits it's just there we go. Snapped right down in. All right, I'll put the couplers on it, and then uh, we'll have you up on the test track. I'll be back. All right, we've got this up on the uh, turntable. We've got it all finished up, and we'll go through the startup sequence here. So I've got this set up to run the long hood forward, and uh, so let's see, we'll turn the headlight on there. Um, there's really not a lot to see on this one. We've got the front headlight and the rear headlight, and then of course we have our, we've got our bell, we've got our horn. Let's see what else do we have. <clears throat> First, we get the short horn. Uh, let's see if I can ramp this up. Maybe we'll go through a few speed steps there. There was speed step two. Three. Four. 
five. Six. Seven. It must have been eight that I hit the middle of that. <clears throat> um, let's try. Okay, yeah, that is step eight there. I just went uh, straight to eight there. So, let's see what else do we have. This is always the... It's a, a break. So now I'll just hit it straight to idle. So you can hear it ramping down. So now we're at idle. And let's see what else we have here. Uh, all aboard! Of course, the all aboard. But, uh, yeah, this, this project, I think, come out really well. It was nice and simple. It was just the front and rear headlights. We'll run it around there, get it in the frame. Flip the uh, rear light on. Some rough, rough patches there on my turntable. Uh, so I need to clean that off. Finish running around there. So that is the finished product. Move back around. Change our direction. You can see your headlight there. So, this project is complete. Thanks for watching.